This video is an introduction to the ASA congruence criterion or in other words the angle side angle congruence criterion. Let us see what exactly does this criterion does this rule say. It says that two triangles are congruent if two angles and the included side the two angles and the included side of one triangle are equal to two angles and the included side of the other triangle see two angles and the included side is equal to the two angles and the included side of this triangle so uh, the side necessarily has to be included between these two angles for example in this triangle we have this angle B and angle C and the side should necessarily be BC it cannot be AB because then you cannot apply the ASA congruence criterion so if you take the side AB even though if AB is equal to PQ you can't be able you, you won't be able to apply the ASA congruence criterion because the side has to be included between the two angles let us see how we can prove it um, let, let, first of all let us just have a brief introduction so angle B is equal to angle Q BC is equal to QR and finally angle C is equal to angle R so we have these three parameters two angles and the sides included between them and the side included between them are equal and therefore triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR no not so fast you'll have to see the corresponding points here B matches with Q so you can write Q in the middle B is in the middle write Q in the middle C matches with R so write R at the end and the only one point remaining is PU so 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 you can write P in the middle so that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR according to ASA rule let us now take another example this example in this example you are given two triangles ABC and PQR let us see how we can apply the ASA theorem in these two triangles now angle B is equal to angle Q because of the notation angle B angle Q uh, and uh, BC is equal to PQ and finally angle C of this triangle is equal to angle P angle C angle P K equal right so B is equal to Q BC is equal to PQ and finally angle C is equal to angle P therefore by ASA rule and one more thing ek aur cheez jo yahan pe wapas hum aapko batana chahte hain ki bc aur pq jo do sides hain those sides are included between these two angles that has to be a necessary condition if these are not included then you can't apply the asa rule asa theorem is not valid so you have to be very very careful while solving questions so by asa rule triangle abc is congruent to triangle pqr right no 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 itni jaldi nahi corresponding sides corresponding vertices b is in the middle angle b corresponds to angle q p and q are equal so write q in the middle now angle c corresponds to p so write p in the end because c is at the end over here and uh, the only remaining point is r so triangle abc is congruent to triangle rqp that's it very simple in the next video we are going to see the proof of asa theorem which is really tedious so prepare yourself for it till then be happy